Maitri had been an important person in my life, partly because um, uh, she'd lived her life in uh, in uh, in such amazing ways. Uh, now this film is uh, about a middle class woman, and you know this there, there are strands in our lives in which we are the privileged uh, characters who have the opportunities to travel, to study, do whatever it is. But what is it that drove this woman to come back? and come back and also live the life that she does you know where she's searching for something so for me then the most exciting part of maithili's uh, life became two things she had borne witness to that terrible massacre in the sense that she went to it immediately after but she had also traveled to the us and come back in the late 60s america is a uh is a churning place you know it, it, there's so much happening over there there's the civil rights movement uh there's vietnam uh, on the horizon there all of that happening and so the somewhat you know ivory tower existence of the elite groups in india uh is ruptured when they go to the to the us because they are catapulted to another world which is actually completely different and they she, she begins to respond to that so she comes back a changed woman and the high point of her life is that she goes to cuba and she makes that clandestine trip to cuba because you can't travel to cuba and come back easily with a, with the, the because of the visa regime this is still the 60s so so she was completely fascinating then she comes back and she goes straight into this agrarian dispute and this terrible massacre that happens to uh dalits so in a sense the threads that connected her connected her to uh, a a whole range of people who in the late 60s and 70s were actually turning idealistic and they were middle class people but they were turning idealistic and uh, you know in my in my uh, uh, my future film uh, uh, there's a whole segment on nakshal bari and the women who go off to become part of the naxalite movement in in uh, in bengal and bihar so in that sense i think the uh, the middle classes were not living completely isolated existences they were actually responding uh, to the thartic moments in their own uh, in their own uh, time and i don't know if I, uh, you people noticed it but then anupama i think is here and anupama is um, if she's here she will recall how marvelously she made that cut that this, you know there is a there is a cut in the film in which uh maithili is in the cuban section has happened she's traveled to cuba she's done all of that and then she cut straight from there to middle class tamil uh, brahman uh, household uh, with women with their diamond nose rings and whatever it is and that cut is so dramatic because it goes straight from from cuba to this uh, to this uh, narrow existence of women but that too is then punctured because uh, maithili gets a phone call and she's uh, she's told about this massacre that has happened on christmas eve and that changes her life so in some ways the uh, um, there was a, let's say uh, the world was poised to transform some people who were willing to be uh, or who were drawn to actually questioning and uh, relating to their own society in, in a way that was beyond the very narrow limitations so in a sense that film uh, speaks uh, to be particularly in a certain kind of way because of that moment you know, when that happens